Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about various tuning fork tests for hearing. This is a concise presentation for medical students. For tuning fork test, a tuning fork of 512 Hz is ideal. The tuning fork is activated by striking it gently against the examiner's elbow. Air conduction is tested by placing a vibrating tuning fork vertically in line with the mere test around 2 cm away from the opening of the external auditory canal. To make it simpler, air conduction is tested by placing the tuning fork some 2 cm away from the patient's ear. Bone conduction is tested by firmly placing the foot plate of a vibrating tuning fork on the mastoid process. That is, bone conduction is tested by placing the base of the tuning fork over the mastoid process behind the patient's ear. What are the various tuning fork tests available? Rene test, Weber test, Absolute Bone Conduction test, Schwabach's test, Bing test and Gallus test. Rene test. It is used to compare air conduction and bone conduction. In this, a vibrating tuning fork is placed on the patient's mastoid and when he says he has stopped hearing, it is brought beside the BITS. That is, first, the patient's bone conduction is tested and when he says he has stopped hearing through the bone conduction, air conduction is tested. Ideally, air conduction should be better than bone conduction. That is, Rene test positive. It is seen in normal persons and in those with sensory neural hearing loss. If the patient doesn't hear when placed near the MIA test, it means that bone conduction is better than air conduction. This means that Rene test is negative and it is seen in conductive hearing loss. Normally, air conduction is louder and heard twice as long as bone conduction. Weber test. In this test, a vibrating tuning fork is placed in the middle of the forehead or vertex. The patient is then asked in which ear sound is heard. Normally, sound is heard equally in both ears. In case of conductive hearing loss, the sound is lateralized to the poorer ear. In case of sensory neural hearing loss, the sound is lateralized to the better ear. That is, if a patient has a conductive hearing loss, in Weber test, the sound will be heard in the side in which he has conductive hearing loss. Absolute bone conduction. In this test, patient's bone conduction is compared with that of the examiner. Ideally, the external auditory meatus is occluded in this test. In cases of normal persons and in those with conductive hearing loss, both the examiner and the patient hear the sound for the same duration. In case of patients suffering from sensory neural hearing loss, the patient hears sound for a shorter duration. That is, uh, in this test, uh, initially you will place a vibrating tuning fork over the mastoid process of uh, the patient. Then, after that, uh, uh, after the patient says that uh, he has stopped hearing, you, the examiner place, places the tuning fork over his own mastoid process. So, in cases of sensory neural hearing loss, the examiner will be able to hear the sound even after the patient says he has stopped hearing. Okay. To summarize, in cases of normal persons, Rene test will be positive, Weber's test will not be lateralized and absolute bone conduction will be same as that of the examiner. In cases of conductive hearing loss, Rene test will be negative, Weber test will be lateralized to the poor ear, poorer ear, that is, Rene, uh, Weber test will be lateralized to the uh, affected ear and absolute bone conduction will be same as examiner. In cases of sensory neural hearing loss, Rene test will be positive, that is air conduction will be better than bone conduction, Weber test will be lateralized to the better ear and absolute bone conduction will be reduced. Thank you.